Yo, what is up guys? Coach Joe, Garage and De La Swole. And in this video, we're gonna be covering a gym that I was able to train at when I was doing a collaboration. So as you guys know, I like to travel. When I travel, I try to pop into different gym locations. A lot of the times it's gonna be gyms that I haven't been in, mainly to see the type of equipment that they have, the atmosphere, environment. And as a previous gym owner, I'm just really interested and excited about checking out equipment that maybe I've never used before or seen before and just seeing what things are like and then giving you guys some feedback. So if you're ever in the area traveling to that destination, which would be Virginia Beach or Virginia in general, drop in to these gyms if you find them cool to maybe fit your training style. The gym that I was able to go to on their grand opening day was Southside Barbell. So they've probably been open for a few weeks, but this was the grand opening. They had a lot of cool things going on, such as food trucks, some deadlift bench press competitions, and really just getting people in the door to check out the facility. And this particular gym caught my eye because I had saw some of the guys I knew in Strongman competing at this location, and it just looked really cool. So I'm gonna run you through some of the features that it has, the training that I was doing. Not gonna be a long video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it, and then we'll kind of wrap up and talk about some future things going on. So right off the bat, this was more of a garage or commercial space, which I'm definitely a fan of. It had a nice amount of parking, which is always a plus. You kind of walk right in the front door and they have their check-in process, a bunch of counters with supplements, and you get to see a lot of trophies uh, from either competitors that were a part of the gym or the owners, which I always find really cool because you want to know who owns the gym and it's always beneficial when the owner is really involved in the community themselves, which is what I have found. And there are, I think, a couple of owners, but they seem very active in the strength or bodybuilding uh, or just strongman community, which is similar to how I had my gym set up in the past. Now, once you open the door and you get into the main kind of whole component of the gym, it really caught me by surprise on how big it was. And oftentimes with social media, when you're looking at videos of things, it can kind of distort the size, whether that's good or bad. Uh, but in this instance, it was a huge bonus because it was so much bigger than I had thought. <laughs> that's what she said. Now, right as you walk in, they have very high ceilings, which right off the bat I thought was cool because if you are doing something like Strongman, you have the throw ability in this where some gyms don't have high enough ceilings. Therefore, you have to take it outside, but that's also gonna be weather uh, dependent. So with this, doesn't matter, rain, shine, year round, you're able to actually throw implements in the air, which is really cool. If you go right in, you start looking to the left, you have your traditional, I wanna say, power lifting racks, right? We have a mono lift, we have different bench setups. Uh, we also have just a ton of power racks available. So really thought that was a nice, cool segment. Now, one thing I took notice to that I really liked was this long slab of concrete that ran basically through the middle of the gym. And that's gonna be used for any sort of moving or carrying events or doing sled pushes, pulls, even sprints, which is just a nice added feature that they had enough room to be able to do that. Now, if we keep going, I did a lot of my work in almost a strongman section. So we had a whole rack of dumbbells, a couple of platforms, uh, and then we also had loading platforms for stones and a bunch of the strongman bars and equipment. And they did have a very wide variety of strongman implements, which was great because sometimes you go into a gym, you wanna play with implements, but they don't really have that many. Now, obviously one of the owners is a top or pro strongman. So he kind of knows what is gonna be needed for people in that strongman community demographic to be able to train. So first thing I did right off the bat was hit some logs. So I was working up uh, to kind of a moderate set of five this was also a deload or a low stress week for me. So I wasn't going too crazy, but when I do these, I typically am not wearing a belt or straps or anything like that. Uh, and still getting some volume in, but I ended up working up to around 295 on the log for a set of five, which felt really good for me without obviously gearing up completely. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. So just doing some working sets with that weight. Now, the next thing I did was some supplemental pressing work. So I was actually doing some single arm dumbbell presses and I was pretty pumped to work up to 100 on both arms. I wasn't sure how my left arm was gonna handle that. Also just have some shoulder issues working through, but they felt really good as well. Now the whole time I'm doing this training, it's great because I'm able to meet people, shake hands, kind of see what their community and culture is like. And it did remind me a lot of the den with everybody was just super outgoing, having a good time, uh, you were able to focus on your working sets without feeling interrupted or 
people kind of bothering you. At the same time, everybody was super friendly. So if you wanted to have a conversation, that was great as well. So that's kind of going on during this whole thing. Like I said, they had some food trucks outside in the courtyard, which I'm pretty sure they own that space. So they do have the potential to go outside and do things, which is just an added feature of going to this gym. And they were doing some competitions, so I was able to watch that in between my sets. Now, the other side of the gym was more of your bodybuilding vibe. So they had a lot of cable machines, more isolation machines. So it was a great mix of having the powerlifting stuff, the strongman stuff, and then bodybuilding. So no matter what your goals were, you could obviously get after it and use all the different types of equipment in there to hit your goals. One other really cool room was this small room to the right when you kind of go through the main door uh, for the gym. And that had a whole other full rack of dumbbells over 100 plus pounds, multiple benches of different kinds, and then a ton of other machines for upper body and lower body. This is cool just because it adds character to the gym where you don't just have this big open format gym. You can kind of go to these smaller rooms and explore what's in there. And I just kind of like that vibe because it was almost like a surprise to me like, oh dang, this is here? So I thought that was cool. So I spent some time in there using the hammer strength low row, and then I kind of used some of the cable machines in there just to get a quick little uh, pump in, and just experimented with different things that I maybe don't have access to, training in the garage, or just something fun for me to kind of play with on my D load. Now before you actually enter that room, there was a wide variety of cardio equipment, so they had different treadmills and cardio machines, which once again just kind of hits at that point where no matter what your goals are, you can get it done in there. And it's also a place of work. So you don't have that commercial gym vibe like a Crunch or an LA Fitness or a Retro Fitness gives off. Um, so that's why I do like it because the atmosphere for me is very key. And when you go into this type of gym, you realize that there's a lot of work that can be done in here. There's some serious lifters, but also people you know, who just have different wide goals. You can hit them all in here. Now one of the other cool features that wasn't actually finished at the time was there's actually a staircase that goes to about another, I think it was about 2,000 square feet above. So you walk up the staircase, about 2,000 square feet of space open. I think they talked about adding some sort of combat section, which could be for MMA or Jiu Jitsu, which man, if they could add that in there, this is really like a one-stop shop. Uh, with a great environment and culture that you can really get after it. And I believe it's also 24 hour access, which in 2024, 24 access is almost necessary for gyms because of everybody's schedules. And it's just a great selling point for wanting to get people in the door. In my programming, I actually had some Husafel carries. And once again, I wanna try things that I don't have typical access to. So I saw they had a ton of Cerberus Husafel bags. And I wanted to give those a go, so I ended up grabbing those, and I was working around 300 pounds for my carries. Once again, utilizing that long pathway that they had for any sort of sprinting, sleds, carries, etc. Uh, and I really liked using those Cerberus bags. So definitely something I'm gonna be picking up in the future is gonna be a Cerberus Crucifel bag. They have great build quality. I really like just the way that it felt picking it up and carrying it. Uh, so definitely wanna add some of those to my training uh, equipment list. So that's really it guys, I wanna keep this video short, sweet to the point, show you some of my training, as well as getting an idea of some of the gyms that I train at when I travel. And if you are traveling or live in that area, check out this gym and get after it because there's tons of things that you can use in there to make progress towards really any goals that you have. We got a lot more coming out. There's some other videos from the trip, some training in uh, some garage gyms that are just really cool and unique. And then we also have some future collaborations that have already been done, but I just have to edit that footage and get that out to you guys. But it's been crazy. We've been moving into our new house, still trying to get as much training in as possible. It's complete madness and chaos, but I'm here for it. And hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. And if you have any comments or questions, please drop them down below. If you're interested in any programming, we do have the program links that are either going throughout this video or obviously in the description, but always here to help you guys out with a la carte or subscription style programs using the mobile app or one-on-one -on -one coaching. But until then guys, stay a lean, mean strength machine and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.